happy Friday. It is um, about 8 o'clock. I got out of work a couple hours ago. We went to PetSmart. I had to get Charlie some food. And we met the nicest lady. Um, her name is... Lynn and she just was like so informative and she just we just started talking about like she complimented her trip. Um <laughs> so you guys literally when I was recording my dog it just escaped. Like I was watching I still have like a phobia of like recording in public. Like if I feel like if people are watching me mm, there's this guy. Mm, 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 mm. One sec. Anyway, sorry that uh, I was like kind of getting interrupted by just people around me because I'm in a public place and there's pub people around. But um, anyway, so yeah, my dog got out, <sighs> but he came back. I just don't think he wanted to go home. I think he wanted to hang out with us for the night, which is all good. It's fine. Um, so we uh, left PetSmart. We are gonna grab some dinner. Um, don't come for me about my dog leaving my dog in the car because my dog likes to hang out in the car and honestly like we're only in the restaurant for like 40 minutes like the places that we go to um are like normal spots that we go to so like our food is just like in and out so don't even try to come for me um it's not even that cold out it's not that warm out so he's not gonna die he's Bombs. fine we, he went up to the bathroom but oh so i guess we're ready for dinner so i'm being rushed um Eagle so yeah we'll see you guys inside bye Oh my gosh. <laughs> Might as well. <laughs> you guys, this food is so good. <laughs> good morning, guys. It is Saturday. Ooh, and I'm being real generous showing y'all how I just woke up because we look a little rough this morning, but that's all right. Um,. Joe's at work. He had to work this morning, and I'm just laying in bed. I had the door cracked or the window cracked um, throughout the night because it is starting to get a little bit warmer out now. It was like 40s last week, and it's supposed to be in the like high 60s, high 70s, low 70s this coming up week. So the weekend is gonna be like as the weekend gets goes it's gonna be a little bit warmer so i had the window cracked in this morning i woke up and the birds were just chirping away it was so nice there's like a little nice breeze coming through the window it was just like amazing like it was the best morning ever i love mornings like these um i have to get up and oh sorry guys I have to get up and um, just do a couple loads of laundry really quick. I also have to go to the store and just get some things for the house. Joe's little sister is going to be getting dropped off around like 1 o'clock um, because it's my nephew's first birthday today. So we're going to be going to my sister's house. She lives about 30, 40 minutes away from me. Um, and we're going to be going to her house to celebrate my nephew's first birthday. So it's going to be super exciting. I probably won't record too much while I'm there because just yeah um but i'll try to get what i can um so yeah guys um just enjoy this slow morning with me i'm probably just gonna relax here for a little bit look at my dog he's so sleepy he's so cuddly too he loves sleeping with his mom and dad but um yeah i'm just gonna relax slowly get up and uh take you guys a lot of this day and uh yeah actually up and Adam out of bed have some coffee with me I ran to Tim Hortons because for one I broke my coffee pot um, I had such a crazy morning the other week it was like I don't know it was so bad currently remodeling the house I mentioned that in a couple videos back and the other morning like last weekend we woke up Joe went to the bathroom he literally just peed you guys and like the toilet like just overflowed and then it leaked to the kitchen like something busted I don't even know like yeah, so there's that. Um, so that was fun, bright and early in the morning. And then that ended up waking me up. So I just figured, you know, I'm up now. Like, it was chaotic. I might as well stay up. So I just figured to make some coffee. And I was just going to kind of, like, relax and um, 
you know, just have a slow morning. But when I was making coffee, you guys, I went to go, like, put coffee in my filter, like, grounds my filter. And then when I went to pick it up to put it in the pot. I don't know if the filter got wet or what. But when I went to go lift it, it, like, literally just split in two. So coffee grounds everywhere. I mean, it's, like, 8 something in the morning. So, like, it's early. Like, come on. I gotta, I've already cleaned one mess. Now I gotta clean another mess. So I start cleaning up the coffee grounds. And what do I do? I accidentally, like, hit the coffee pot and it just shatters everywhere. So that's three messes, all bef- three messes to clean up all before nine o'clock like it was just i literally went back to bed and like restarted the day i woke up at like noon yeah i know um but i woke up at like noon and i just restarted the day because that morning was just too chaotic for me to like actually like continue on with the day i was like no way it's early i had not had a sip of my coffee yet water first you guys water first but um so yeah and then i just got to get a couple things for the house but i figured first i would have some coffee and just kind of hang out with you guys enjoy the morning charlie's freaking out i don't know what's his deal lately that was a nice view all right water's pretty much gone i'm just gonna sit here for a little bit and just kind of like relax um hope you guys are all having a good saturday morning if you are having some coffee cheers if not uh grab a cup kind of just hang out relax enjoy the morning back up you're not getting none this isn't for you back up right here sit here in the sun just like you like good boy I'm about to get in the shower and get ready. Um, I went to the store. I didn't really want to record there because it was just family dollar, nothing special. I really just wanted to get in and out. Um, so I did that, came home to try another walk. Um, and I'm about to get ready and I will see you guys when we look better because yeah, we're looking a little rough. I was very, very nice to you guys by showing you guys the real, um, the real, real, you know, because I feel like all I really post are like obviously when I'm done up or like dressed or whatever. So yeah. You guys are always complimenting like how like nice I look or how like good my skin is, but it's makeup, I promise you. So, but yeah, I'm about to get ready and I'll see you guys when I'm ready. Hey guys, so I am on my way back home. Um, I made it to my sister's house and we went to my nephew's birthday party. I really didn't record too much. Um, there's a lot of kids, a lot going on. I did record us saying happy birthday to him, obviously, and I got him eating his cake. So I'll insert that now so you guys can see it because it was adorable. Do it again, 
But yes, yeah, so, so I'm about to pick up Joe. He had to work today, but he's at the house. So I'm gonna go pick him up and then we're gonna head to the store and I'm just really gonna come home and relax. Tomorrow's Easter. Uh, we're not really doing too much, but we are gonna be out of town for the day. Um, but I'm gonna make a cake. So I gotta go to the house or I gotta go to the store to get some stuff for this cake and then come home and make it. And then uh, I'm really just chilling for us tonight, you guys. So chill weekend, it's Easter weekend. Um, so yeah, I hope everyone's enjoying their Saturday. Hey guys, so I'm home. It's actually pretty late for a, for a Saturday. Um, it's almost, what, 10 o'clock, right? Honey, almost 10 o'clock. Oh, it's 9.30. But still, um, I just got back from the store. Um, I'll show you guys what I got here. Nothing crazy. I just had to get some things for the house. And then I got stuff to make a just cake. I figured I could film that with you guys. I feel like that'll be fun. A little cooking session. So, um, I'm going to go ahead and put the stuff away. And then I'm going to come back downstairs and start making this cake for tomorrow. And I'm just going to relax for the rest of the night. Um, take makeup off and... I want to do a face mask, but I don't know. We'll see if I'm going to do one or not. But um, let me show you guys what I got really quick. A little Myers haul. Um, I needed some new Vaseline. I just use this for like my lips sometimes. I needed an eyelash curler because I haven't had one since probably like high school. Um, just hand soap for the bathroom, kitchen, upstairs, downstairs. Bleach, trash bags. Um, this is for the Just Let's Cakes. So I just got like yellow cake mix. And then I have um, sweetened, one can of sweetened condensed milk. And then I also have a can of evaporated milk, strawberries. And then literally they had no Cool Whip. They had, this is all they had. Like I found this. So we have this. Um, and then I'm going to sprinkle some like cinnamon on top. So it'll be really yummy. Got a pan from the dollar store. Um, I needed some toothpaste. And Joe got some pens for work. I got a potato peeler because I haven't had one in like years. Um, I also need some more cotton pads for like my toner and my alcohol when I like wipe my face. Um, we need some flossers because I was going nuts without them. Um, I also found this toothbrush, like these toothbrushes at the dollar store, you guys. There's like this dollar discount store. They literally have everything, 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 everything. Um, and I found this toothbrush, like I didn't even realize that the right toothbrush here had like blue bristles on the top. Cause I only noticed the purple ones in the store, but that's cool. So now I can tell like the difference between mine and Joe's cause they're literally identical other than that. But yeah, so I found those. We needed a rolling pin because we were struggling. We were using like a large like beer glass and everything that you could think of. I used a vase. We were making homemade tortillas. So like we finally got a rolling pin. Um, and then I found these like cake piping things. So I'm about to try this. I'm about to really go full on Betty Crocker here. So we'll see because I'm not a baker. But and then we got some paper plates because I only do dishes. So that's my little Meyer slash dollar store haul for you guys. I'm going to put all this stuff away, put everything that needs to go upstairs, upstairs, and then I'm going to start making this cakes because it's getting late, late, late. So, yeah. Hi, guys. All right. So, I have everything set up for my cake. Um, I'm super excited. Not going to lie. This feels like a cooking show that I don't have but always wanted. So, I have everything. I believe I have everything um, in front of me. Um, so, I've actually been watching Selena and Chef recently, and I actually learned a couple things that I'm going to throw out here in this little video because why not? Um, but I actually learned that when you have everything out in front of you, like all of your ingredients, um, there's like an Italian term, I guess, that they call it, they call it mise en place, I think. Either mise en place or mise en place. I'm pretty sure it's mise en place. But it basically just translates to everything in place. So, I literally, as I was getting ready for this video, I thought of that as like, you know, since we were going to be doing this, I thought of that. I was like, let me put everything out in front of me. That way I have all my ingredients out in front of me. I don't have to keep like getting up and, you know, it's just not chaotic. So I believe I have everything here. Um, we are going to be making a just let just cake. And for those of you who are not familiar with that type of cake or have never had it, it basically translates to cake made with three milks. Um, it's more of like a Mexican style dessert. Um, so I'm just using yellow cake mix. You're going to make the cake like normal, like they show on the ingredients here. The only substitute I'm going to do is instead of using the one cup of water, I'm going to use obviously milk. Um, and then you basically just like poke holes in it. You bake it like normal, poke holes in it. And then you make another milk mixture using three other milks that you pour on top. And it just creates this like really delicate, moist, very just delicious cake. Um, so for my three milks, I'm using one can of evaporated milk and one can of sweetened condensed milk and then for your third choice of milk you really can use whatever you want you can use whole milk you can use um heavy whipping cream you can use half and half 
almond milk, um, oat milk, whatever you prefer. I'm going to be using vanilla almond milk because I used regular whole milk before, but I want to try using the almond vanilla milk. So I'm going to go ahead and just get into it. And we're just going to start out making the batter like normal, just like the instructions say on the box. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm nervous this is gonna like, you know? Okay, I just popped a little hole in there. All right, so dry mix into the bowl. I do already have my oven preheated, um, so that is going. I started that before I can clean the kitchen, so that's gonna be nice and warm. Um, it says to just set the oven to 350, and then it calls for three eggs, so we're gonna go ahead and do that. Um, yeah, the ingredient that I've seen, or the recipe that I've seen for this cake, you can use you can use vanilla. You don't really don't have to. I want to. I'm a very vanilla girl. I feel like I'm vanilla when it comes to a lot of things. My style is very vanilla, plain Jane. I'm really just like a very plain Jane type of gal. So, but, um, all right. So we have our eggs. shot, honey. Can you please? What? Can you please like quiet down just a little bit? <laughs> Seriously, like you're cussing all in my video. Just a little bit, please. Anyways, one and a half cups of oil. Right into the bowl. And then one cup of water. But instead of the water, I'm going to do the milk. One cup of milk right into the batter. And then I'm just going to do a couple drops of vanilla. Whisk up the batter. Okay, the batter is mixed. Um, just gotta taste it to make sure, you know, it's up to par. I don't care if there's raw egg in here. I've been doing this since a kid and I've been fine, so. Okay, batter's perfect. This is the pan we're gonna be making in it. We're gonna uh, be transporting it so i figured i don't want to make it in one of my dishes because i don't worry about transporting my dish and then also if the dessert's not gone before we're ready to go i feel like that's rude to be like all right um and if we want more cake because we're out of here so i figured i'll just bring it in like a disposable pan that way i can just like leave it there i don't gotta worry about it I'm trying to like get my dish later on so but what we are going to do is get some oil and just oil this pan that way the cake does not stick just a little bit we don't need a lot because we are going, this is going to be a very moist cake. When I say moist cake, I mean to the point where like when you cut the cake to eat it um, and serve it, there you're going to see like the layer of milk on the bottom of the pan. So that's how much milk. It's going to be very moist. This is a very delicious cake. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and just pour the batter into the pan. It kind of sucks because like I won't be able to top off the cake until tomorrow morning. So you guys won't be able to actually see me like kind of, um, you know, decorate, I guess you could say. So I'm really just gonna bake it tonight and let it cool. I'm gonna pour the three milks over top of the cake tonight because the longer it sits, the better the cake will turn out. So I'm gonna go ahead and bake the cake with normal. Um, and then I'm gonna go ahead and poke the holes and pour the milk mixture right over top. And I'm gonna let that soak overnight. And then in the morning, I'm going to just dress it with the Cool Whip, strawberries, and the cinnamon. All right, so this is part is done. I'm gonna go ahead and throw this in the oven. I believe it has to bake for, I don't know, 15 minutes, perfect. I'm gonna let it bake for 15 minutes, let it cool for about 20, 30 minutes, pop it in the fridge overnight, and I will finish the rest tomorrow. Hope you guys enjoyed this day with me. I will see you guys tomorrow morning on Easter. Um, all right, I'm gonna go ahead and throw this in. You guys all have a good night, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Okay, guys, good morning. Happy Easter. Um, I'm gonna hurry up and try to get this done because um, we gotta get going. Our cake cooled overnight, um, so all of our milk has absorbed into the cake. I can see a little bit, like a little bit of a puddle around the cake. So now we're just gonna go ahead and top this off. We're gonna top it off and cool it, but first, I'm gonna go ahead and cut out my strawberries. 
I got some like ginormous strawberries at the grocery store. I don't know what supplements we're putting into these things, but they're massive, which is all good. And I'm just gonna slice them the long ways, that way I can assemble them on the cake. All my strawberries are cut up. I used one to kind of put in the center as like a, um, I don't know, a little decoration. And I like cut it so that way I can like fan it out and I'm gonna put the rest of the strawberries around it. So now we're gonna go ahead and put on our whipped cream. And I'm gonna use the whole container and I just use one cake mix, like one box of cake mix. So we're gonna use the one whole container of Cool Whip. Our cake is completely frosted with our Cool Whip. Now I'm going to take the strawberries and assemble them, but first I'm gonna put the one strawberry on top. Um, that way that is right in center. And then I'm just gonna put the rest around, like so. So our cake and our strawberries are assembled. Now we're just gonna take some cinnamon and sprinkle this on top. I really thought this was gonna look better, but um, I'm just kind of rushing, so it's not quite. Am I out of cinnamon? All right guys, I'm gonna show you the cake. It is all done. So this is what it looks like. I'm telling you, it's delicious. If you've never had one, I suggest you do so. If you have had one, then you know how good this is. But this is all done, we're gonna get going. I'm gonna get this packed up. I'm gonna transport it into a cooler, that way it stays cool, um, just cause this is a cooler cake. And we are gonna go ahead and get on the road. I will see you guys later, bye. It's Easter Sunday. It is, uh, I'm not sure what time it is. I think it's like one o'clock, but um, we're currently at Joe's aunt and uncle's house. We're gonna actually just be spending Easter here today because my family really isn't doing too much. So we're just gonna be here, which is all good. Okay, so this is the outfit, white capris, flats. I got this like um, multi different pattern shirt from Shein. It's very much giving granny, but that's okay. Granny's wishing y'all a very happy Easter today. Everyone be safe, enjoy your family, enjoy your loved ones. Um, so yeah, I'll see you guys later.